We start right here in the Queen City, where one couple shares their journey as Boricuas and Buffalonians through their art. It's all control chaos. There's no better therapeutic relief for Hector Morales than this. I feel like every time I'm getting anxious or anything, I always find myself working on some type of art. Hector unlocked his talent as an artist when he was nine years old, shortly after moving to Buffalo from Puerto Rico. Throughout my life, I tried never to lose that touch with Puerto Rico. And through my art, I always try to keep that connection. Each of his masterpieces paint vibrant depictions of Puerto Rico's culture and history. We are very rich culture, so it's pretty easy for me to dig into our culture and, and pick things that allow me to tell our story. It's very important for him to tell the stories of our history, um, good and bad, right? Glissette was always inspired by her husband's creativity. One day, the couple took a pottery class and joke about what happened next. He was horrible, <laughs> horrible at it, but I was really good at it. I, I had a knack for it, and I thought, you know, this is interesting. I never thought that I was creative at all until I found clay. Glissette is also using art to connect with her roots. It is really through pottery that has allowed me to connect to that part of my Latino heritage, which is very specific to the island of Puerto Rico, which are indigenous Taino people. The Taino people use the technique hand coiling. It's a method for building pottery by hand using a wheel. It's a slow process. It requires a steady hand and plenty of patience. Maybe because it's molded in her DNA, it came naturally to Glissette. Just continue to learn and push myself to try new things with clay. The two artists under the same roof with very different techniques. I am very linear and, and tend to be very technical about my work. I think it's the special educator in me. I want to know what are the exact steps I should follow and try to follow it. Where Nino's much more brave, I think, and takes more risk with his art. Art itself diversifies everything, right? Um, when you get, say, you get somebody doing a play and somebody doing art classes, the, the, the mix of people that come together allow them to learn more about themselves. The couple has dreams of opening a studio one day to help people unlock their own potential. Because something like pottery, for example, and just art in general, really isn't accessible. It's not accessible to uh, our Latino community for a variety of reasons. We all artists at heart. Uh, the difference between an artist and a non-artist is an artist is willing to put itself out there. Ultimately, the goal is for their artwork to go beyond the canvas. To serve as not just windows for other cultures and, and people to, to peek in and learn about our culture, but more importantly, to serve as mirrors for our young Latino children to see themselves reflected in the work that we do. A lot of our youth have disconnected from who we are as people, and they're, um, we, we live in a beautiful country, and being a, a veteran, I'm proud of my country, but I'm proud of Puerto Rico, I'm proud of being Puerto Rican.